In this video, I'm doing a review of the Backgammon Galaxy Backgammon Galaxy uh, online store, official Backgammon Galaxy shop. So they have a wide variety of different types of equipment, including boards and accessories. These are their boards. This is a classic one, uh, probably the one they're most famous for called the Earthboard Luxury Back Backgammon Set. One of the things they're famous for is the compact size. So if you look at this, uh, the checker trays are actually external and you can uh, store the checkers in it and fold it up and put it inside the board and that makes it more compact. There are spaces for the checkers, uh, the cups, they fit nicely, the cube fits perfectly into there and it's all very nice and compact, makes it easy to travel. Um, these are designed by Mark Olson, um, who's a grandmaster player and entrepreneur uh, out of Denmark. They have a lot of great backgammon players. He is one of them. Um, one of the things he likes about these boards is they're not that far from one side to the other. So you can fit five checkers and five checkers on, on each side. You can't fit a sixth one. That makes it easier to reach across, and it does make it more compact. Uh, and because you need to fit this in, the depth is a little bit deeper, just a few millimeters. Uh, hard to notice, but um, if you look at the details, um, you'll notice the material is high quality wood. The hinges are very small, so it's easy to put a checker on the bar. Uh, it does not have a handle, so it's closed by magnets, so you put it in a little carrying case. Um, I don't know if it has that picture here, but you can also store the accessories into here. This is how they fold. This is how it looks closed. And some really, really nice ones. And I believe this one has the MagFit technology, so you can change the surfaces. And we'll see that uh, in a moment. Another one, the Adventure Board is a smaller one, a travel size one. Um, it's on a more entry level price point. The uh, Void Board, um, is a little bit different. It's similar to the earth board. Um, however, it's black and the checker trays are affixed to the side. So they don't go inside. So that makes it a little bit wider. And this one has a nice, the void background. It's black with dark gray and light gray. And this is probably my favorite one, the Monte Carlo Grand Prix board. Um, this is the one they designed for the World Championships of last year, 2022. Beautiful colors. I really like these colors. Um, the green, almost like an olive green background with orange and white points. And uh, I believe that's the color of the flag of Monaco where they hold the World Championships. It does come with uh, black and white marbleized checkers. They're flat, um, really nice. Look at some of these and good reviews. And they uh, carry some of the FM Gammon boards. The FM Gammon is the one that manufactures their boards. Uh, oh, and there's a new mini earth board. I haven't seen this one. So this is a more entry level price point. I believe the checkers look like they're smaller, but I'm not sure. Let's see if it says here, closed board, the, the checkers are smaller. They're 35 millimeter as opposed to the traditional 45 millimeters. So this is a nice one, nice carrying case, really nice for travel, but you still have the luxury feel of it. Um, this is their primal board. It's one of their newer ones. I think it's a limited edition. It's a higher price point. Um, it's a special type of wood called Zebrano wood, I believe. Um, really beautiful. If you like that, this one does come with a handle where most of them don't. Um, and you can fit the checkers nicely. I personally prefer when you can fit the checkers this way. It's just easier to rack. The external uh, portion, the exterior has a nice leather on it, and it comes with beautiful scoreboard and a little booklet. So those are their boards, really, really high quality boards. I like them a lot. Um, number of different accessories. Of course, they have different dice. Uh, but let's look at their dice tower. This one's very interesting. It's something that folds. It's leather. Let me see if we can play this video. What's up, Backgammon fans? I am here with the new Galaxy dice tower. This is Get Mark out. Olson. So you push here. Boom. With Mac. 
no noise at all. Yeah, here you go, guys. The new Galaxy Dice Tower. So it's quiet. It's like a baffle box. Really easy to fold up. And here's another video. Slow motion. Easy transport unfolds in seconds. So let's look at the other accessories they have here. Doubling cubes. I really like the looks of their doubling cubes. Nice kind of square shape. The Neptune is the blue. The Earth is the green. And the Moon is the black. They have different colors. And they're 38 millimeters and 65 grams. Nice, nice weight to them. Game clock. This is the one they designed called the Tempest. You put your phone in there and you just tap it and it goes side to side. There's the deluxe version that looks like it's wooden. They're made in Latvia or at least shipped from Latvia. Let me see if there's a quick video. What's up, that Cameron fans? Uh huh. Yeah. Wipes. Six four. Hips. Oh, and then he taps really the nice. clock. Really nice. I love the sound. Yeah. So that's the Tempest game clock. The surface inlays. This is one of the unique features of the backgammon Galaxy boards, as well as the other uh, boards from FM Gammon, who's the manufacturer. Uh, you can change the inlays. You can change the surfaces to uh, whatever you like. So they have different ones based on different colors. So the Neptune is the blue, Void is the black, Jupiter is orange, Nebula is purple, Moon is gray, and Earth is green, based on the different planets and intergalactic uh, things like nebula and void. Um, these The colors are a little bit monochromatic. It's a little bit difficult for me to see on my eyes. Uh, I prefer a little bit more contrast, but you can customize them. And the Monte Carlo board has some really nice ones. Um, so I like that one a lot. Um, the checkers, they have some really nice checkers that I like. So these are the classic flat top ones. This is a set of 30. The Earth um, is green and they're marbleized. The Neptune is the blue color. I like that one. The Jupiter is orange. Nebula is purple. And then the Void one is black and white. And if you look at the other checkers, the finger dish. So these ones have a little indentation. There's the green. Uh, the Neptune is the blue. I like that one a lot. The Moon is the black. The Nebula, they don't have, I believe that's the purple one. The Jupiter is orange, and then this is the white one, which contrasts with any of the other ones. And then the scoreboards, nice scoreboard. I believe this is made by FM Gammon, nice high quality. Um, you can flip them really easy, easily. And the other things that I like, so let's look at their merchandise, like their t-shirts. They have a lot of fun t-shirts that you can get as well as the other thing that I like are the mugs. So you can get mugs, nice gift, uh, deluxe posters. So they have a number of different posters you can get and their books. So I like these books. I believe I have every physical copy of the books of all of these books, as well as some other ones that are not here. They have some eBooks here. Um, Cube Like a Boss is an outstanding book written by Mark Olson. He's written some fantastic books. I've read all of them. I like them a lot. I've learned a lot from them. I definitely recommend it. Um, if you want to learn specifically on Cube Strategy, this is an outstanding book. There's also some other ones that I believe are available on Amazon, um, From Basics to Badass. And uh, there's another one I can't remember off the top of my head, but they're all very good books. And this is the most recent one, the Backgammon Masterclass. I did a video review of this one. So this was written by Grandmaster Mark Olson and Super Grandmaster Masayuki Mochizuki um, with Alec Barr. This is a fantastic book. Definitely recommend it. As well as Holding Game Guru by Jacob Stick Rice. Um, great compilation of different uh, reference positions of holding games. Um, so you can learn a lot from that one. And the Ziska Method by Zdenek Ziska. This is a really good one. Um, dominating backgammon through storytelling. Um, it focuses a lot on uh, looking into the future and uh, seeing what's going to happen in the future. So 
that's everything for the Backgammon Galaxy online store. Definitely recommend it. They have some outstanding equipment. Check it out. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Hope to see you in the next video.